So here's probably number four. Are you sure this is probably number four and not five? Okay, so this property says that angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Take care, I repeat, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Okay, and you, you, you can see here, okay, this is 61. And this is the circumference. So, the center pe angle will be 61. Ka kya hoga? Double. Hoga. And let's see, even if I mess around with the values, so what happens? One thing's always consistent. And what is it? The center wala angle jo hai is always what? Is always double the angle of the circumference. Okay? And this property will never come like this. Okay? Sometimes, sometimes you might. See it like this. That you will overlap these lines. Even then, note how much is this? 50. And how much is this? 100. You know, you know uh, a way to identify this is that, that you can see that this A is in front of this arc, which arc is making this arc? This is making this arc. Is that correct? This arc is making this arc. And the angle 100 is making this arc. The same arc, right? C to B. This is the arc. And in those angles, one is in circumference and one is in center. So, what will happen in the center? What will happen in circumference? What will happen in circumference? Can you tell me this is 50 and this is 50? Because this is your radius and this is your radius. And as I said, this can also come like this. Or, you might see this property applied in this way. Or, you might see this property applied as this. Now, what do you think of this angle? 108. Now, the confusion for students is that if this is 108, then this will be double. But that's incorrect. Why? Because, if we note that this angle A is our angle, which arc is making? This is the whole arc. Is that correct? And, if we see that this angle is our angle, which arc is making? This is the same arc is making. So if this angle is 108, how much is this? 216. If we remove this angle, then how do we remove it? From 360, we will subtract 216. Any questions? Angle at the center is twice or double the angle at the circumference. What if I told you to underline the keywords here? What would you do? Center, twice, circumference. Since we're doing angle properties of circles, so it's that's understood. Anyway, any questions? अच्छा जो इसके बाकी सारे केसेस हैं ना वो भी मैं आपको बना के दिखा रहा हूँ. So if this is x, this will be two x. ठीक है? Considering के ये वाला एंगल कहाँ पे होना चाहिए? सेंटर में होना चाहिए और ये वाला एंगल सर्कमफ्रेंस होना चाहिए. और you can have this property as something like this, such that if this is x, then what will happen outside the angle? 2x will happen, considering that this is our center. Okay? Any questions? Alright, so here's property number 5. Can you write down this property in words? If we change this line, we will notice that the angle B will always be what is it? अच्छा ये 90 पता है एक इसकी वजह क्या है 90 होने की ये basically property number four की ही extension है ना वो why because ये angle जो center में ये क्या है it's a straight line right so this will always be 180 so if this is 180 the angle जो circumference पे वो उसका क्या होगा वो उसका half होगा ठीक है and मैं इसको कहीं भी घुमा लूँ पूरा घुमा लूँ angle opposite the diameter is 90 degrees in short long story short angle opposite the diameter is always 90 degrees याद रहेगा। What do you think the keywords are in this property? Opposite, diameter, 90 degree. हम्म, कौन सी property करें? ये करते हैं। Let's drag this here and see what's going on. ये property five एक ही क्या है? तो लगभग जो diameter वन भी नहीं है। ये ये वो वाली property है जिसमें आप जाते हैं spider man। Yes, 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 yes. क्या बताऊँ? Angle opposite the diameter will always be 90 degrees. In short. 
All right, so this property says K angles opposite the same segment will always be equal. You guys know what a segment is? Remember when you guys saw the circles ki definitions? Segment is basically a part of a circle. Oh, I have either O. Let's call this A, let's call this B. Okay. So, how about I make an imaginary chord here? Say, you know? So, what will happen? This will be a segment. Is it not? If this segment is the angle X, then what will this segment be? What will this angle be? Your angle will be X. Hoga. Or in short, remember I told you guys how to identify this property? It looks like a bow. Or, Spider-Man. So if this angle is A degrees, what do you think this angle is going to be? A. Achha, there's one more thing, but that has nothing to do with circle properties. That has to do with angle properties. Okay? Well, yeah, vertically opposite. What is this angle and this angle? Kya same hoga. Vertically opposite, just keep it the same hoga. And for the same reason, your angle or your angle be kya honge? Your angle be same honge. Because of being vertically opposite. Because of being vertically opposite. Okay? So let's, let's write this property down in words. This property is angles in the same segment are equal. So, you know. Alright, what about this property? A, B, C, D, K. Tell me about Is it just a quadrilateral or is it like a special quadrilateral? It's a special quadrilateral. Why? Because it's a cyclic quadrilateral. And why is it a cyclic quadrilateral? Cyclic. C, Y, C, L, I, C. So, since A, B, C, D is a cyclic, cyclic, Quadrilateral. Alright, so what happens when you have a cyclic quadrilateral? The opposite angles are supplementary. Supplementary matla? K on ka sum hoga, wo kya hoga? 180 hoga. And we can see that 99 plus 81 gives you 180, and 101 plus 79 gives you 180. Achha, it doesn't matter, even if I drag these points around, the opposite angles will always be supplementary. Given that, it's a cyclic quadrilateral. This property only applies to a cyclic quadrilateral, not any quadrilateral. Again, 92 plus 82 is, oh sorry, 92 plus 88 is? 180. And 72 plus 108 is? 180. So, let's, let's write, this, write this down in words if you wish. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. L uh, let me drag this around and see if it still holds. So, yeah. Are we clear that this is a segment hai and this is a segment hai and this is a tangent? Hai? Take care. So here is 52. Now this 52 is the same as the angle that this tangent is making with the segment opposite of 52. Does that make sense? This 52 is the same as the angle that this tangent is making opposite with the segment opposite of the segment that's what did I say? <laughs> Here's 52. Okay. This 52 and these fi this 52, they're both equal. Okay. What's the reason for that? 52 is one segment. So, this 52 angle ban hai, this will be the same as the angle that the tangent will make with the segment that's opposite of 52. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Sir, you are going to take care of it. Okay. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Here's 86. This 86 will be the same as the angle that this tangent will make with the segment that's opposite of 86. Okay. Can you guys write this down in words? <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. Uh, this is property number 8. Alright, so let's, let's draw this. So here we have a triangle. Alright, so... If I make a tangent line here, and if this angle is x, what will x be? 1, 2, 3. 3. This angle will also be x. And if this angle is y, 1, 2, 3. What will be y? 1. Easy. What will this angle be? In case you're not given. x plus y. We will subtract from 180. 